Hey everybody, Butcher here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to get the very best reincarns for the money. We don't want to be spending a lot of time on a spawn dinosaur to get a good reincarn, and that's simply because we want to do all of our sacrifices at 1.2, and that allows you for the most talents that you can get for your time. Uh, anything past 1.2, it takes a significant amount of time to gain more talent points. So essentially we want uh, our cutoff point to be at 1.2 and all of our scores will be based on a 1.2 sized dinosaur. Uh, if you go much beyond that, it's really hard to maintain scores and typically you don't get the best reincarnations. Occasionally you do, but you have to keep this pace up that I'm about to talk about for that entire time, which is really, really hard to do, especially once you get big and you draw a lot of attention to yourself. So. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be going flyer. I'm going to take a Pteranodon, pick the camo skin, and as, at the very point you spawn, you want to take off and go somewhere you can find resources. So there's not really much out here. I think there is a flower patch, but we're going to skip that for now. Uh, I'm going to go straight to this shrine. Now that, just for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to do exactly what I say. But, if I were to spawn right here, I would go clear everything in Archie. I would go pick all the crystals, all the flowers, all the water sources, and then move over to maybe Velo or come to Desert. And you just want to do like one big loop of things, like collecting things. <laughs> you want to get your crystals and flowers. That adds to your maximum bias. So if you go into your, you hit O and go into your trials menu, your water sources visited is a very important thing to this and honestly by the time you get all of your water sources you're probably going to be ready to reincarnate at 1.2 anyways to, like if you're something fast you're going to take you're, you're going to beat that time on rival shores there's probably close to 40 water sources there may be 40 or a little bit over uh but typically i end up with around maybe 36 37 38 or something like that water sources by the time i'm done and the reason you do this is because that goes into a big pool of points for your reincarn so like on rival shores i think you actually only need 23 or 24 water sources to be a hundred percent right now i have zero so it's not going to show up anything but you want as much as you possibly can you don't want to stop at 24 because those beyond that beyond 24 just adds to your total pool even if you're at 100 percent your points will go into that total pool and make your reincarn better so never stop at 100 percent keep going beyond as much as you can and that goes for like bias consumed every flower patch you come to you want to grab them grab them all grab all the crystals you know be super greedy don't leave anything for anybody else this is your dinosaur, your reincarnation. You want it to be the baddest dinosaur out there. When you're visiting shrines, you come to these shrines and there's a couple things that you do, all right? So for our, what, what we're trying to do here, we're going to pledge to the survival shrine. You can pledge and your survival trial score will be set to always match your second best trial score. So if power is your second best score, then survival will match it and then speed will be your highest. But if you go to sacrifice your dinosaur, this will go towards your best. So like your survival, which is typically your lowest, will match your best score. So instead of second place, you'll get first place with the speed. So your survival will match your speed or whatever happens to be your top score so ultimately you want to sacrifice your dinosaurs at the shrine you don't want to go out fighting in combat although if you do die it does give you a little bit of boost in points um so once we pledge here at the survival shrine we're going to come down here out front and actually collect a water source a lot of people don't even know that there's a water source here but you go up to it and it's terribly disgusting water but it gives you a water source so that gives you an extra three sources of water that are on the map that you wouldn't have had before that's definitely a, a nice little boost to your score now that we kind of have shrines covered i never really go to other shrines because using this method almost almost defaultly puts your scores uh where survival will be the lowest and another reason why if you go to your trials and look 
there are a couple of these ones that you're not going to get on a speed reincarnation run. Scents are sometimes a hard one to get, so just try to get as many as you possibly can. Uh, water satiation drink, you can definitely get that at the end, that's no big deal. Shrines, you can get all of them. When you are doing this reincarnation run, you want to get all the shrines. You do not want to just get three. You want to also get the aquatic ones if you can. And now if you're a terrestrial creature, uh, like if you're a big one, like let's say Rex, you can get almost all the shrines except the speed shrine that's in the water. So you can get five shrines on the Rex, and that's, you know, five is better than three, but three is only 100% on the uh, trial scores. So try to get as many as you possibly can. Hunt points, obviously just get as much as you can. Try to do these hunts around like 1.0 or 1.2 something like that so you can kind of get a better chance for a kill i i'm always searching for a hunt though the entire time i'm doing uh trials and i'm just going from water source to water source and whatever happens to be there at the time is when i decide to take that kill friendship you're likely not gonna get this unless you're doing your reincarns with a friend but sometimes it's better to do these runs without a friend because now you can collect more bias you can get more points to your total score but you know if you do it with a friend friendship may increase your score too so if you do it with friends yeah i think you end up maybe like around c grade or something like that by the time it's done we are sacrificing at 1.2 anyways so you can't you don't really want to go beyond that i typically think it's just best to do them alone your age you get 100 percent at 1.2 and that's kind of all we're looking for on this tier storm time weathered you pretty much have to hope that it storms <laughs> in that trial run uh sometimes it doesn't so that's okay but this is actually one of the survival trials so typically you don't get it i mean it's like 50 50 for me really total offspring you're not going to be breeding during this so that's another strike one for the trial or the survival trials you're just it's that that's why your scores are typically lower and like i said the friendship is hard to get so it's hard to get these scores comfort bias consumed you just want to be a machine and just feed all you can get <laughs> it's like take all the crystals all the flowers food eaten is pretty easy to get uh but typically you want to wait till you find satiated food because food eaten counts also for the satiation eaten you just you basically just want to eat satiated food if you can if you're starving then you know eat some regular meat water drink you definitely just want to tap water sources you do not want to get satiation when you're doing this because like i said earlier at the shrine you can drink that and you don't want to have 100 out of 100 water so you have to have like if you had 99 out of 100 water you can collect the water source and there's a few on the map so like your shrines you can collect those three water sources you can collect river over by snowy mountain and i think that's it but those are like four water sources that you can gain that you wouldn't have had before and then your water quality is your satiation so like kind of at the end you just fill up on your satiated water or you can do it like between those points like if you know where each shrine is what i'll do is i'll fill up of course it's gonna get foggy while i'm doing a video but <laughs> i guess it really doesn't matter this is more informational anyway but okay let's say i was at the survival shrine and i was on a terrestrial creature I would fill up on the nearest water source with satiation to give me like just enough time to get to this one. And then I would fill up on, or I would just tap this water source. So boom, I got it. Now it's going to take me some time to get to the combat shrine over in forest. So what I would do is come over here to swamp and collect this water source as well as fill up on some satiate. And I may, I may only, like I'll get water satiation, but I just won't fill my bar all the way so like right now i have satiate which helps me grow faster but i just don't want to have a hundred out of a hundred so you can get the satiate you just can't have this number reach a hundred because then you can't collect those other special water sources but uh let's go back into our trials again covered water quality and then water sources visited that's basically the main one that's what like uh, by the time you complete all those you'll nearly have all your other trials and just a disclaimer, these reincarns have some randomness to them. It's not always going to be guaranteed. I've typically found that I'm getting, on average, 
20 inherits when I do this method. The highest I've gotten is like around 24. It was 24 inherits, it was the highest. And the lowest I think I've gotten was maybe 13. But I think that the normal lowest I get is around 17 inherits. And on average, I'm getting 20 with this method. So it's a really, really good method. You're always on the move. You're treating everything like a race from the point of spawn to the, to your death at 1.2. One thing I want to go over is your talent build. So what you're going to do is you want like a threes build. So if you want like a speed tree in Pteranodon, you're just going to like pick all of these as three points you don't want twos build like going from swiftness to take quick take off and then maybe you want to come down the piercing beak to try to get more talents sometimes i will say sometimes this is like a jackpot situation to where you can actually get multiple procs off of a twos build so you'd be like you know just for example here you'd be taking two points in every single talent that you want Typically, I find that's not really that great. You have to do so many more reincarnations to actually make this work, and you have to get really, really lucky. Uh, I really like to just max everything out and get three points into all the talents that I personally want, and this will vary from person to person. Another thing that I've actually found that helps really, really well is not having multiple things on the same tier like multiple talents on the same tier so your first one at 0.45 you could have swiftness strong lungs adrenaline weather but rather than like putting multiple points on each one i'm probably i'm just gonna have one and go all the way up to the max because this seems to and i could be full of shit here but it seems that it reduces your chances in getting the talents that you want so like if I had all of these selected, like all the first tier talents, if I wanted swiftness, I think I'm less likely to get swiftness because I have this total pool of stuff going on. So if I only have swiftness, I'm going to be very, very likely to get an inherit into swiftness. Now that being said, typically when I do reincarns, I uh, take the very, very best things of what I think makes that creature great. Like on Ichthy, I might take Slippery or something if I'm fighting Moses. Like that's something I'm going to need. So I highlight that or like Sharp Teeth if I'm like fighting uh, Moses or something. Or, uh, you know, in this case on Pteranodon, if I want to do damage a lot, I want Piercing Beak. So that's going to be the highlight of my build. And I may go, you know, like in the speed tree, if I want speed, I can also go, you know, adrenaline down to piercing beak or strong lungs down to piercing beak if I want. But that will give only two talents on the same tier. So I would have like swiftness and strong lungs. But there's honestly a pretty good chance you're going to get both of those two out of two if your trials are right. And I've got, I've gotten it so many times it's unreal. So keep a single track if you can. Uh, on some dinosaurs, I, I like to go around this way to get the speed combat build and your point eights are in a bigger pool. Sometimes you can get them all, sometimes you can't. So it's just something you kind of have to look out for. I think ultimately you just want, you just want to select the talents that you think is going to be best for that dino and just max them at three points. You do have 31 talents to pick from, so like your last talent is, is an odd talent and just put that in something that you kind of like and you just hope that you get a point in that. I think I've pretty much covered everything on the reincarns that I know of. So yeah guys, if you do all these things, treat everything like a race and just feed the machine keep pushing forward as fast and hard as you can that's going to be ultimately the best thing to do for your reincarns and you'll have good reincarns using this method never ever sit afk you, you don't even want to do that in this game anyways just simply because sitting afk is a chance for you to die you don't want to die in this game you don't want to put all your hard work to nothing always be on the move, always be looking around, and uh, that's just a good tip in general. If you're always on the move, you're very, very hard to target, and if you sit in the same spot, like a lot of people do, you will be relentlessly hunted there. That's just, that's just rule of thumb. <laughs> and if I find a, some, that somebody stays in the same spot over and over, I will kill them over and over again. So, 
go out there, try to get your best reincarnation possible, and enjoy your plus twos, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. See you on the battlefield, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, buddy.